Goodbye, Stacy. We're all cleaned up. Closing up shop and heading out. Ready to go to Wilderness Lodge? Here I am. We made it. Ooh. I have a chicken sandwich too. Maybe he wants some chicken sandwich. Here we are, here we are, my favorite pool time. favorite swimming pool. I hope everybody else liked it. I haven't asked them yet because I just went and got a refill my coffee, changed, got ready. I think everyone else was going to do some shopping. Last bit of suit for suit, last bit of Disney shopping and then uh, I think I'm going to go get Eve. I think the last minute I changed the plans, I'm going to go get Eve. Sarah's going to bring everybody to our apartment. I'll bring Eve there, get Kristen's vacuum because we still have that and bring that to Kristen to get the air mattress that they will be sleeping in. So, with this way, it'll be the maximize the time left with Sue and Sarah to spend the most amount of time together. All right, crazy, crazy past hour and a half. I left Wilder's Lodge to go to Katie and Dustin's to pick up Eve. Got Eve. She is super cute. So happy to have her back. Brought her back to the apartment. The apartment's got new faucets and new kitchen hardware that came in while we were gone and put in new blinds. Had a hop back right in the car to drop an Eve off to bring Kristen her vacuum and grab the air mattress she's gonna let us borrow and now I'm right racing back because it's 436 and Sue's supposed to leave we're supposed to leave at uh, 445 450 towards the airport and I got to run some stuff in the back seat in the house so Sue can sit back there with her luggage so a little crazy um, and I think all goes well and timing isn't too crazy that we may end up at the Magic Kingdom We've been struggling for the past hour and a half, approximately, <laughs> trying to figure out dinner. This little babe is obsessed with my dog. Hi, sweetie. She looks sweet and innocent right now, but <laughs> Give it a she's going to be sold to the gypsies in at least 25 minutes. <laughs> for a good deal, too. And this little sweet furry angel is also very confused at why these people are here and this small blubbering human. Pollo Chapacal is what we've decided. And this is now sponsored by the EV and VV show. So instead of KK and Baby J's restaurant, Grant swears by this. Oh no, I had it like twice two years ago. All right, there you go. Twice two years ago, so we're having it for dinner. So Grant and I are having struggles because we got four of these, five of these big cups. So many sauce options to try. Currently have a, sp or a curry mustard. I think we're gonna bring some spicy pollo pollo home. The cilantro garlic looks good. This is the definition of Sarah, the art of saucing. The first rule of saucing is to be bold and live tropically. Embrace the new, then following by mixing. This is where the art of saucing can set you free. Lastly, share. Saucing. <laughs> Look at this Thumb display. <laughs> all the it took forever. <laughs> Yes, I'm well needed a puppy time. I didn't think she was gonna pop up like that. <gasps> She's biting the string. Did you miss her? Okay. The night has basically ended. Violet had a shower or a bath and went to bed with her parents. Um, but I wanted to show you because I referenced earlier like how they were changed. They changed a few things in our apartment complex. Well, bittersweet guys so we don't talk about our apartment a lot for safety reasons which we think is understandable 
So hope you don't get mad, but I can show you these details because they're interior. But the thing I don't like is that they didn't tell us that they were doing these changes, they didn't notify us, and they didn't even leave a work order, which they sh usually do and are supposed to do whenever they come in and do work, if we're not there especially, even if we are there. They're supposed to leave a work order explaining what they did, but three major changes to our part. One, a new faucet, super fancy, attaches and everything, spout adjustable. Two, we actually have new blinds and oh, there's four changes. New blinds in all of the windows except for the sliding, sliding door. It's like that fake wood. I really like their heavy duty. They block a lot of light out. We got a bunch of these new outlets, which are super nice because they've got the two outlets and then they have the uh, USB. And this is actually like, looks like there's something blocking that, but I wonder if it's just because it's new. That's interesting. And then in the bathrooms, in the bathrooms, I'll show you this one because the other one I can't show you because it's in the bedroom that the, the family's sleeping in, this white border was not around the mirror. It just makes it like a nice little finishing touch that they've added there that looks really nice. So, that's a little, oh, five things. And this is the thing I actually don't like. They added this new hardware. I don't know if you remember what the hardware looked like before. That sticks out like an inch and a half, two inches. I'm gonna click my hip and my ankles and body parts on these and I just don't like the look of them not the biggest fan um, they did not do a good job cleaning up like I found a bunch of little screws I found a bunch of little screws and sawdust and little pieces all around the place like on the carpet where they were working like on the mic for the podcast that it hasn't happened in many many weeks that's for another day and like those screws are plastic pieces I wasn't aware of them at first or to look for them. So like, Violet could have picked it up. Eve could have eaten it up. It's not safe, but we'll probably at least mention it. We're not ones to be like, give us this, give us that, do that. But we just want them to know like, hey, think about that next time, guys. Um, but it's exciting. It kind of works out that all these new changes happen, right? As Matt and Ben are gonna be moving in in just about two weeks. So we have a lot of work to do. Our apartment is literally freezing. It's 11.15, we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, we're going to bed, but we had to say it. You gonna join? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Maybe I'm gonna show you one last thing. Here, say it again. No. <laughs> Look at this pookie nooner waiting to go to bed. Come on, Evie, let's go to bed. Come on. Come on, Evie. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>